What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have a very exciting video. We're going to be uh, covering the world update number three. It was supposed to come out last week, but unfortunately because of delays and everything, Microsoft just now released it this morning. So I got it updated. If you're not familiar with the world updates, they uh, they pretty much go to an area and uh, redo the airports, landmarks, cities, and a lot of the terrain data. So we're going to get some new cities, uh, also some new landing challenges and stuff like that. So we'll go over a lot of it. I know they added a ton of landmarks, so I'm not going to be able to hit all of them. So let's go ahead and get into the flight simulator and uh, we'll explore this new update. All right, guys, so here we are loaded up inside of the simulator. Also, don't forget, you will have to go into Marketplace, go into the World Update 3, and it'll say Buy and Install. Of course, it's free, so you don't have to actually buy it, but just go ahead and click that, and it'll uh, it'll install it for you. I think it was about 4 or 5 gigs. So let's just go over it real quick. So World Update number 3, they have five handcrafted airports. So these are going to be like the extremely detailed um, payware version, pretty much, of them, but for free. Um, there's going to be five cities with uh, with 3D as you can see now. So we got these cities added: Birmingham, Bristol, Cambridge, London, and Oxford. So I'll show you a couple of those. Um, another change we have is the uh, 85 airports. So these aren't going to be as detailed as these five handcrafted airports, but at least they will be updated. Um, so that's usually things like adding uh, the proper buildings or maybe control towers that are missing and stuff like that. But that's a big change. 85 is a big number, and of course digital elevation, like I was talking about. And yeah, and of course we have the um, a couple challenges, landing challenges and activities that I will also show you guys. So back at the main menu, let's go ahead and get started. I think obviously the first thing you can see that's different is going to be right here. The Westray to Papa Westray. Uh, this is an iconic flight in the UK. This is actually an extremely short commercial flight that I think actually exists in real life. Uh, yeah, if you read right here, the event regularly scheduled commercial route in the world shortest regularly scheduled commercial around the world so it's pretty awesome 1.7 miles average of two minutes so uh it says flight duration 10 minutes not sure why that's probably just taxing and everything but yeah it's going to be a two minute flight island hopping so let's go ahead and try that out i've actually never done this inside of the simulator i have seen videos about it in a documentary i think but other than that i have not um not done this route at all in the flight sim so let's go ahead and check it out and see what kind of weather they give us all right, here we are loaded in. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, pretty, pretty nice area. Weather is extremely foggy. Uh, as you can see, my ATC panel is off. Um, I'm actually not using it. It's been giving me a lot of issues. I was doing some bats and flights, and halfway through the flight, the screen will just black out and become completely unresponsive. So uh, Logitech SciTech definitely needs to come out with an updated driver for this because it is not working the way I want it to. Uh, so yeah, let's go. I think... There's a grass runway here we can use, so let's go ahead and get to the drone and just kind of check this area out a little bit. You can see not a lot of detail to the airport. I forget the airport actually looks like that, the runway at least, without any lines or anything. That's a little strange. Um, getting a little bit of screen tearing. You can see that. I'm not sure if it'll the recording will catch it, but I think I want to take off from this runway right here and take off straight because that'll that'll be our... Our, pretty much our flight plan will be flying in the correct heading we take off from here so i'll just pop a ue taxi into this grass and we'll take off it's really short probably use a little bit of flaps uh let's see where the windsock is windsock looks pretty dead actually so we should be fine so let's go ahead and bust this ue turn the parking brake off Slam on that left toe brake, make it a real nice tight circle. Okay, perfect. And we'll just make this right turn right here. So like I said, I'll do a notch of flaps just to help us up. And let's go. As you can see on our map, we're taking off directly on a, a, with our flight plan heading, so should be good. Let's see if we can get up to speed before the end of the runway. Flaps up. Extremely foggy, so you can't really enjoy the scenery over here too well, but it's still pretty, pretty fun flight conditions to fly in. So as you can see, we're going to start making this left turn. And if I'm correct, we should start seeing the runway. Is that it right there? Yep, that's it right there. Honestly, we didn't even have to put our gear up. 
and this one does have lights and everything, so this one's going to be a little more detailed than the one we just took off from. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, that was, it's going to be about one to two minutes in total flight time. Very short runway, I'll go full flaps. Ooh, that came up quick. As soon as we broke through that fog, I didn't realize we were this close. So I might land long. Let's see if I can, uh, if I can stop short. Oh, floating. There we go. Slam on the brakes. That wasn't too bad. Not a great landing, but... So that's that. So yeah, that was the quick little landing challenge. I wonder if, uh, since this is an activity, can we... Oh, okay, nope. It pretty much stops us right there. and There's no way to resume. But, uh, but if you did want to fly this route, it's right here. Just Golf Echo Whiskey to Golf Echo Papa. And yeah, and you'd be able to do it. Fortunately, we cannot get back on. I kind of wanted to look at the weather in the islands, but looks like we can only restart or go back to the main menu. So we'll go back to the main menu. And then I know they added a landing challenge. So let's go ahead and go into the landing challenges. And right here, so it's going to be Southampton and the extra 330. Um, I don't get why they would add a landing challenge in the extra 330 instead of adding some 787, which are they still don't exist anywhere in the sim. There's no 787 landing challenges, which I think is pretty disappointing considering you have the A320 and 747 and everything in between. But um, I'm wondering if they only use the the airplanes that come in the, the base package, maybe, of the flight simulator, like the cheaper package. That, that might actually be it and why they don't have it. But it'd be cool if they gave us, the, the people with the premium deluxe edition, a uh, 787 landing challenge. So we're going to be landing at uh, Southampton International. Uh, super random to be flying an extra 330, but I'm definitely not going to use the yoke for that. So... I'm going to use this joystick right here. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it. I've never really talked about it that much on the channel, I don't think. Um, this is actually, like, not the same one, but I did own this uh, this same joystick way back, man, probably like 10, 15 years ago whenever I was using FSX. And um, it's still fantastic, and it honestly, for the price, it still beats a lot of them. It's, it's really cheap on eBay. I think I picked it up for like $30, $35, and uh, you get dual engine controls. You can pop them individual or you can hit that button and then you have them together and then also you have rudder controls I'll, I'll use my rudder pedals of course and then um and then you have this right here too so you have all these switches so if you're one of those people that hold the joystick in between your legs this is not ideal you're going to want to want this a little bit in front of you because like me my thighs and stuff always hit these switches so i just set those as nothing but but the joystick itself is fantastic so i will do the uh the flight in the extra 300 and that because there's no way i'm flying that plane in a yoke I don't know if I have to unplug my throttle quadrant. It might get in the way of it, but no, looks like we're good. So yeah. Yeah, way better in the joystick than the yoke. So we're gonna be landing right there. We're flying parallel to the runway right now, and then we're gonna make a left turn to line up. Uh, I will say I am running a 1080p display right now, so if you guys have a higher than 1080p display, I apologize. I usually shoot my videos in 2.7k especially when I'm on my desktop but since I'm on my laptop um, it has a 2070 super and an i7 and 32 gigs of RAM so it's a beefy laptop but uh, in 2.7k on this monitor it just it starts to fall below 30 30 FPS and I know with the new London city and all these uh, all these cities just being very demanding now since they've updated them so much um, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get uh, playable FPS so we're shooting in uh, 1080 today and as soon as I get my desktop set up with the uh, with the 3080, RTX 3080, I'll be able to um, at least do 2.7K like I normally do. But uh, for 1080p, it still looks pretty fantastic, and I'm getting about 49, about 50 FPS. So we'll see how, how it handles London and those dense areas, because that's really where I struggle. Especially larger aircraft, but this is definitely playable. Not sure how demanding the city is right now. Looks pretty good. I'm, I'm loving the scenery though. You can definitely tell that this has been updated. This is not what the rest of the world looks like that hasn't had world updates yet. So you can tell they did a great job there. Oh, I still had the gas in. I'm going way too fast. Let me make a quick 360 to just bleed off some speed. Hope they add trains again soon. Kind of miss the trains. Let's 
Let's see how we do. It is extremely windy. We're getting knocked around. Oh boy. Oh gosh, that was a ginormous bounce. That was so bad. Man, this thing just keeps colliding like we're not losing any airspeed. Do we have a tailwind or something? I think on the map it said, uh, said we had a headwind, so I don't get it. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and restart that because that was bad. I don't even want to look at that score. All right, let's see if we have uh, any better luck this time. I think I'm just going to cut the power out super early. I'm not exactly sure what the stall speed is on this plane, and uh, we have no flaps, so we pretty much have to get our airspeed perfectly on final to, uh, to be able to stop and not hover over the runway for so long. As you can see, the propeller is... Like, I don't have any lag, I have consistent FPS, but if you look at the propeller, it's doing some really weird stuff. So, there we go. We got under 100 knots. I want to give it power, but I'm, I'm really tempted to, but I'm not going to. We got two red. Pop our head up again. About 80 knots there. We'll give it a little bit of power, just because we're flying pretty low. see if I can just barely just keep it above the ground glide it all the way to that blue part don't want to land too early but not too late right, I'm gonna cut the power out nice still bounced oh I have full left rudder and we're still going off the right my rudder is full left right now Jeez. still full left rudder and we're barely keeping center line oh you know what it might be the joystick rudder getting in the way of that but Maybe I'll have to turn off the joystick rudder. How do we do? Okay, so yeah, our ground roll was terrible. Precision wasn't bad and our smoothness wasn't bad, but just because uh, I had that rudder issue, we went really far off to the right, so. But that's pretty much it. You guys get the gist. Let's go back and, uh, and check out London now. All right, so let's go ahead and explore a little bit of the map. Let's go. Um, I've already clicked a few of these. It's kind of annoying because whenever you click them, even if you haven't actually flown there, it makes them disappear, like the exclamation point. So that's a little bit of annoying, but as you can see, we still have a ton of stuff to do here. So we will set that as our departure. Go ahead and pick an even smaller airplane just so we can get maximum FPS. Like the, uh, we'll do the 152, just a real small aircraft. And then we can just use the, uh, the slew mode. So we're taking off from there. And then we'll add some some landmarks along the way. So let's actually first set our arrival airport, London City. I'm sure that's one of the cities that got slightly touched up. It's not handcrafted, but it did get touched up, I'm, I'm sure. Set that as our arrival. There we go. Perfect. One way nine. And then we'll add some of these waypoints that we can look at on the way. So we'll go here. Let's see what are some good ones. I don't want to show you guys all of them because there's just so many. This video would be incredibly long. And also, you guys with the sim, I want you guys to go see it for yourself. So let's do, we'll do the palace. Definitely have to go over downtown area. So we'll definitely go here. We'll try to check out Big Ben and the Ferris wheel. And I'll make sure that I have the landmark um, icons on in games so we can uh, find those a little easier. And yeah, so let's go check out London, and after this, we'll check out a uh, different part of the map. As you can see, I'm already getting some pretty low FPS. I'm getting 30 FPS right now. Actually, I don't think you can see it, because the NVIDIA FPS disappears inside of OPS, so never mind. Um, also, you can see I have a uh, complex aircraft, single-engine aircraft setup for, um, for my Honeycomb right now, just because I do fly at the Bonanza a lot, so that's why I have this. Obviously, it's not really worth changing for... Uh, for the 152, since I'm going to be switching on and off airplanes, but this will work fine. Uh, if you guys want to check out what I what I think about the throttle quadrant, I did post a video a couple weeks ago, just giving a little overview, not like a full review, but just like a, a first first look, first use kind of a review on it. All right, so here we are. Yeah, we're getting 25 FPS on 1080p, where normally, um, if we weren't in a heavy populated city like this. Or a dense area I would be getting about 50 FPS but this is definitely playable and right there we'll go to Twickenham Stadium I probably should have picked uh, an airplane with with GPS but 
that's okay. We will just uh, go ahead and follow these uh, these landmarks. And I think I can already see downtown over there. Yeah, so we'll just fly in that direction so we'll see what we can see. I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, slew mode just because, like I said, we don't have a lot of time and there is way too much to see. So if you don't know how to do that, you just click Y and then with your number pad, you just kind of move forward. So here we are. I'm going to live pause it and let's look inside of it with the, uh, with the drone. And this is our first point of interest. Wow, you can actually see it's got a ton of detail. Look at that. And yeah, so that's the building. If you guys are familiar with this, let me know what you guys think. Is it pretty accurate? Or just in general, all the landmarks that we'll be looking at today. So there you go, first stadium. Now let's go ahead and continue on to see something a little more exciting. Oh, look, there's another stadium here that looks like they didn't give it much love, though. But the scenery itself, if you look at all the housing and everything, it looks awesome. I really should have taken a... Uh, gosh, that... Okay, ATC's turned off. Um, I really should have done a... Um, a before video on this just so we could see the difference but I'm, I'm sure it didn't look like this now let's go ahead and continue downtown what's off to our left we're not getting any names we know they're points of interest but we're not getting any any names up oh, there they are so we have the botanical gardens and something else over there. Not bad. I don't know exactly what makes them decide on, uh, on what they're going to do. Wait, is this floating? Oh my gosh. Yo, this building is floating. I don't know if this looks the same for everybody, but clearly... Oh, you guys saw that, right? <laughs> okay, that's weird. So yeah, I don't know. It could just be the scenery loading in. Um... But that was definitely floating. Let's see this one. Oh, that one's floating too. Hmm. Very interesting on those. I think it actually just flopped down, but all oh, this area looks real nice. Let's look at it up close, see what the streets look like. Yeah, not bad though. I mean, who cares? Because, you know, you're in an airplane. You're supposed to be seeing this stuff from, from up high. And I'm sure if you compare this to real life from this height, It'll look pretty similar, so I can't complain. Let's go ahead and get back in the cockpit. Let's go to our next area. So we can pretty much follow this river all the way down. That should lead us to uh, to Big Ben and the Ferris wheel, and pretty much where we're trying to go to. All right, as you can see, we are near a ton of landmarks. Big Ben's right there. The Ferris wheel's right there. So I think what I'm going to do to just show you guys uh, a lot of these landmarks in a quick way is I'm going to do a little cinematic fashion just because there's uh, there's too much to cover here. So we're going to pause. London as you can see very beautiful um, whenever I was shooting that I'll leave the sound on possibly if not I'll just leave the music on but you could actually hear um, traffic and police sirens and stuff which I thought was was pretty cool I actually don't think I've heard a police siren before up until now so 
so let's see what else. We'll go to slow mode, make it a little quicker, and we'll continue onward. I know if we follow this river, we'll get to the airport, since I don't have a map. So let's continue this way. Kind of showed you guys this area right here, so we'll just come in for uh, for landing, and then we'll go uh, check out a, a couple different airports or, or areas in the map. So I'm not exactly sure what this airport looked like right before the update, but um, the lights on the on the water. I'm not sure. We'll see how detailed those get as we get closer. I don't know if they're just floating lights in the water, if there's actually going to be some posts. Yeah, actually, I do think there might be some posts underneath them. Yep. They are, do look like posts. Actually, they just disappeared, but I did see one. Yeah, they're there. They're definitely there. Don't know if they were there before the update, but this airport's looking pretty detailed. So yeah, that was London. Let's go ahead and get back to the uh, to the map and we'll select a different area to explore. All right guys, so this is Land's End Airport. As you can see, oh, is there somebody else on the runway? Oh yeah, looks like somebody's gonna be doing some bush flying here soon. There's my plane right there. Uh, you, oh, look at that, look, you can see some windmills in the background. I also am not sure if those were there before the update. But, um, but what I do see that's awesome is the texture of, of the ground. Look at the terrain. The texture is extremely detailed. Looks like some pretty high resolution stuff, even up close. Let me zoom out a little more, see what it looks like. But yeah, you can see each every individual spot of land, all the borders, all the different colors. Yeah, this looks beautiful. I'm sure flying over this would look really nice. No wonder that guy's in a bush plane. This would be a fun area. Since there's no points of interest here, I'm just gonna show you guys the map up close. Or not the map up close, the airport up close. Uh, you can see they added some cars to the parking lot. Pretty high detail. Yeah, very high detail, actually. You can see the asphalt taxi lines are extremely detailed. Look at that, the solar panels. But yeah, if you guys are interested in flying in this area, you have this really, really nice detailed airport uh, to go to. So I won't take off or anything. Let's just, uh, let's just move on to a different area. So let's actually go to a different handcrafted airport besides Land's End, like maybe a bigger one. Uh, Manchester Barn I know is a real small one. Let's do a, let's do Liverpool. That might be a decent sized airport. And that's going to be Golf Golf Papa. I think I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys all the handcrafted airports and then we'll probably just finish off the video there. Okay, so here we are in another handcrafted airport. Again, not that big, but definitely bigger than that last one we were at. So let me just uh, show you guys this airport. You can see the area around this airport is actually very detailed. So even though they handcrafted the airport, I think they put a lot of emphasis in the area around it. Because that looks extremely detailed. So flying in here would definitely be fun. The airport itself is just not very impressive. Not because of the handcrafting, but just, you know, the airport itself isn't very big. Um, looks like it's got one small terminal. Big piece of tarmac there. Oh, look, somebody's taken off. Yeah, nothing super special. Looks like the uh, the airports they decided to handcraft were, uh, were fairly small. Oh, look at that. I remember seeing a picture of this on the Microsoft News. You got your Hampton Inn Hotel right there. So not bad, a lot of cars. So yeah, it's actually not bad. I guess I was being kind of a, a hater at the beginning. This area is actually pretty nice. Just a fairly small airport, but not bad at all, not bad. I could see myself definitely flying into here just because I love airports that, um, that are out the edge of the water, like right there. I do see some mountains and stuff in the background. So yeah, just in general, this year near East is looking good. The ground textures are, are pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next airport. All right, so next airport we're gonna check out is Barra. 
which I think is EG. Yeah, I think that's the one, right? Yep, it's got the star, so it should be handcrafted. And let's check that out. Let's see if there's any points of interest around there. Uh, no, there is not. But it looks like just based off what the what I've seen from areas like this, it looks like it's going to be some some pretty beautiful stuff. So let's load in, see what it looks like. All right, let's check it out into the drone camera again. Whoa. What the hell is this? It just looks like almost like a beach. Okay, I am incredibly confused. Is that a windsock? Nope, not a windsock. Looks like just a, a marker. You know what? Maybe this area is just meant to be like that. Maybe it's just supposed to be a big sandy field that you can just land wherever. We're gonna have to do some research on this on this airport. You guys can just comment down below. Let me know if this is what it's supposed to be like. I guess I've never seen anything like this, but uh, the scenery is definitely beautiful, as you can see. Um, but again, why they would choose to handcraft this, I mean, this, this would not take very big effort at all. Random power lines. There's the windsock. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next airport, because there's nothing really impressive about that. Besides the scenery, that does look really nice. I'll give the terrain a uh, a thumbs up. Ooh, especially over here. Yeah, that looks really nice. Textures are good. Airports they chose, not so sure about. All right, next one we're gonna check out is the uh, the Manchester Barton Airport. This one I think has a few grass runways as well and asphalt. Yep. So this is gonna be a little bit of everything. So let's check it out. Should be some. Some good stuff here. Okay, so it looks like a ton of grass runways. Zero eight left, zero eight right. Some very nice scenery and textures. Okay, now I thought that there was some asphalt runways, but I don't really see any now. Yeah, because on the map it said that there was asphalt runways, but this looks like completely grass. So I don't know if they need to change that or if one of these need to be changed to asphalt, so. Handcrafted all that, of course. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Honestly, kind of seems a little lazy on their part, but I also completely understand that there's a ton of companies that are going to be making payware for uh, for the major airports, so that could be an issue. They just want to leave that for, for payware, not get in the way and step on their toes, and then they're just kind of focusing on airports that nobody has any plans for. So that could, that could very well be it, and I could totally understand that concept, so... But yeah, so this is uh, this is Barton Airport. Really nice. I do love grass runways, so this would be a little fun area to fly in. Wish there was mountains a little closer, but as you can see, uh, the area is beautiful. Scenery is updated. See some soccer fields there, so you know the textures are good. And yeah, nothing bad. This this would be a a fun area to fly in in the Icon, I think, just because of that little waterway. But uh, yeah, now we got one more airport to check out. Last one, let's go see how that is. Outscaries, I think is the only one that we haven't been to. So let's go ahead and go there. I think since I've only shown you guys London, I'm gonna show you guys one more city. I think I'm gonna show you Cambridge after this. So we'll do Outscaries and then we'll do Cambridge and then I think we'll just end the video there. And then if there's anything that you guys specifically wanna see just cause it's such a large update, just uh, comment down below. And if I see um, a lot of people posting the, uh, the same area, I'll definitely make a video on it. Oh, it looks like a tiny, tiny airport. It looks like, like an island, actually. I don't even see any land. So this should be interesting. We'll depart there. It does say asphalt, 1,200 feet, incredibly short. Uh, let's check that out. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting. I can already tell. Okay. Oh, this area is absolutely beautiful wow okay but this is where i would want to fly in the icon see now this one makes a little more sense even though the airport is not you know sophisticated whatsoever the area around it definitely got some love and i appreciate that a lot very short runway that would be very fun to land in and yeah and you can see some i mean there's nothing for miles other than this little tiny island so this must be a little town or something that just uh, relies on this on this runway pretty much for their supplies i would assume but yeah, the area itself is pretty nice. Let's look a little, a little more. Looks like some, uh, maybe even fishing. 
Yeah, because that looks like a fishing boat right there in the green. So this must be a little fishing city. Yeah, definitely fishing. You can see there. Yeah, this area is really nice. It's taking a little bit for the textures to load in. But uh, I think that's just because we're in the drone camera. But yeah, look at that. Look at that view. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So it looks like they did not focus on any major airports. Um, of course, 85 of them did get touched up. So I'm sure out of those 85, there was some fairly large airports included. But they don't list exactly which ones they were. Oh, is this a little lighthouse right here, I think? Yeah, beautiful. So even though the, the airport itself is very, um, very simple, you can tell that um, outside of that area was definitely handcrafted. Very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and check out one more major city. And then we'll end the video there. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out Cambridge. I'm sure this area is going to look absolutely beautiful. I don't want airports, just points of interest. There we go, perfect. And um, I'm assuming, obviously, this isn't included in the handcrafted airports, but I would assume that this was also an airport that was uh, that was touched up. So let's actually take off from there. Runway 23. All right, so before we take off, let's just see uh, the detail of this airport. Looks like we're on a grass runway. We have some asphalt to our right. And yeah, I don't know to what degree these have been touched up. Obviously, you can see the difference. This airport does not look good at all. So maybe it wasn't one of the ones that was touched up. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe these runways and stuff weren't here before. Maybe it does have a higher level detail. The terrain, the ground texture is for sure. Except I don't know what's going on here. That's definitely wrong. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see. That's not very accurate. That's actually what um what Flight Simulator kind of looked like in the beginning when it first came out. So I can't imagine this one being touched up and then them not noticing that. But maybe, maybe, who knows. Let's go ahead and take off and check out Cambridge. that waypoint I'm already seeing it looks pretty awesome again I've never flown in these areas in the sim before or been to them in real life so I'm probably not a good judge but if you have you can you can probably notice notice a difference or from before the update it doesn't look too bad um, doesn't look very high def but again if you're flying over the overhead you're probably not going to notice this Check that out. So these ones are not as HD as the other ones. Like it almost looks like it's not finished rendering. I don't know if it's like my internet. I have pretty awesome internet speed, so I don't think it's that. But um, you know, flying from a thousand feet, it looks absolutely perfect. I'm sure this area before was not nearly as detailed. But yeah, so that's Cambridge. Beachcraft, I don't want to show you guys much technology. more just because I want you guys to check it out. And um, yeah, this video would just be way, way, way too long if um, if I showed you guys everything in the update. But like I said, if you guys have um, any requests on areas that you guys want me to go check out, uh, definitely comment down below. Another thing I would say is um, is join the Discord. We do multiplayer flights and stuff like that and just talk about Flight Simulator and, and a few other off topics. But it's a lot of fun. So join the Discord. I'll post the link down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very impressed. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys that love flying in the UK are going to be very, very happy that this update is out. Um, I know I'm for sure going to be flying in these areas a whole lot more than I used to. 
So any requests, just comment them down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one.